I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Today's video takes us to beautiful sunny Deland, Florida where the city has just created legislation to stop frauditors from recording in public lobbies where there's sensitive information being bandied about. Oh dearie me. Let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! Turning now to a new city policy banning video inside a police department's lobby. The city commission in Deland just voted this in after reporting an increase in harassment from First Amendment auditors. So if you don't know what a First Amendment auditor is. Well, good people, if you don't know what a First Amendment auditor is, consider yourself lucky because you haven't been burdened with the dregs of society. There are so many of them. I just went through my folder and picked out a few at random, alphabetically almost. Yeah, they're all a bunch of yahoos, and uh, you'd be hard pressed to find one who is really doing the work that frauditors set out to do several years ago. It was all about government transparency. Now it's all about dollars and cents and trying to make the most money possible on YouTube. Frauditors have no common sense and they don't care about anything except clicks and views on their pitiful YouTube channel. They'll even take an arrest for the cause. Isn't that right, little Joey boy? They're people whose goal is to test their constitutional right to record video or take pictures in a public place like one of these lobbies. New Six's Molly Reed is in the land with this policy and how similar changes could be coming statewide. A lot of residents come to the Deland Police Department here and walk into that lobby through those doors to speak to an officer about a crime or file a report. Now, while they might be taken into another room to talk about the exact details, they first have to tell the receptionist why they're here. Now, this is where the problem comes in, good people. Yeah, the Supreme Court has ruled that there is no reasonable expectation of privacy in public. The key word there is reasonable. When someone is reporting details of a murder or another heinous crime, they don't want that information recorded by a third party. Yeah, it's okay, the uh, lobby cameras are recording, but they don't want some yahoo like a frauditor coming in and recording that. And people have a right to that privacy. Of course, frauditors don't agree with that nonsense, do they? Now, lately, the police say these First Amendment auditors have been walking in after those residents and recording that initial conversation, many of which is posted online. Here's one example they gave us of it happening. The police say this auditor in the black was trying to record while a resident was speaking to a receptionist. In this case, it led to a fight. What were you doing recording in the lobby? I was there actually making a public records request. Steven Sanders is the man recording. So you wanted to shoot yourself making that request. Absolutely. And I now you might ask yourself, good people, what's so important about recording yourself making your request? Well, the answer is nothing. Absolutely nothing. They do it because they think they can get away with it. And when they can't get away with it, that's what's going to draw the big viewership to YouTube and other social media, as is this video. No doubt about it. I'll bet the fraud to rake in big bucks on this video. What do you think, good people? Leave me a comment.
Just wanted to record in constant so that way nothing was missed. We're here investigating issues. We're here bringing public light. But the city says. It, they may not be, you know, focusing on that individual, but that interaction, that conversation is being picked up on video. Victims of crimes, uh, God forbid, someone who's been sexually assaulted mm -hmm. or who maybe witnessed a crime are coming into the office to, to tell our officers about that. Still, some are fighting back against this policy. Oh, I can imagine all the big time frauditors are going to put their two cents in. I wouldn't be surprised to see the Long Island loser Sean Reyes go down to Florida and fight this tooth and nail because we know he's all a Karen when it comes to his civil rights. That's something though, isn't it? Coming from a former jailbird, as they all are. So you're up in Tallahassee with the First Amendment Foundation, but you've heard, let's start with the policy down here in the land with the police lobby. I mean, what is, you think, the opposition to this? I do not think it will pass uh, constitutional muster, and I think the courts will strike it down. I don't think it'll be struck down because these are some of the rudest people on the planet, and they walk in and they don't say a word to anybody. Look at what uh, Amagansett Press does. He just stands there and looks stupid, doesn't he? And he does it on the sidewalk. And then we have other people that walk into government offices. Look, Josh the jerk. He walks into a government office and what's he do? He just wants to get people fired. So I believe this will be held. Now the city commission voted for this new policy unanimously. The city attorney at the time acknowledged that according to the law, people can record in public spaces, but also said that privacy should be expected when people are reporting sensitive matters. And That's right. Privacy should be expected when reporting sensitive matters, but not according to frauditors. They think they have the right to record everything they can see in public. Well, what would happen if they couldn't see? I mean, you know, yeah, you need two eyes to see. What would happen if they couldn't see? Well, let's dispense with all that nonsense. Let's look at a couple frauditors who didn't play by the rules and took a ride in the squad car. Roll those clips. Hi, is this part of the court? Yeah, do you have a question? Just looking around. That was my question. Is this part of the court? Is like traffic tickets and stuff come here? Is this for like traffic tickets and stuff? Yes, indeed, rocket scientist. This is a court of law. It's a courthouse. This is where you pay tickets. Do you have some tickets to pay? Or are you just there to annoy people? Please, carry on. Are you recording us? Yeah. You're is, not allowed to record us here. Is this for traffic tickets and stuff? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I'm allowed to record, though. You're actually not allowed to record us. Here. I am. What? We're going to have to ask you to leave. Why? Because you cannot film in here. I can totally film in here. There's a government building. So we have the code? Yeah, what's the code? Penal code 632. So if uh, we're admonishing you, otherwise we're going to go ahead and set you up. In this meeting. Okay? Out of a public building. So there's. Look, Junior, doesn't matter if it's a public building or not. You've been asked by the police to leave, and now you must go, or you will be trespassed, and you could be arrested. What's it going to be? Information on our website that tells you that you have to get an order from a judge in order to film in a courthouse. Mm -hmm. You can go to the website and look at it. So, sir, this will be the penal code, right? So you can have that for your reference as well. Privacy, PC 632? Yes. Okay, I'll hang on to that. Perfect. Do you have any, any lawful business here? Yeah. What is it? Gathering information. Okay, for? It's none of your business. It's none of my business? Why? Yeah. Because privacy? Sure. Let's cool. go with that. Okay. All right, so you got to stop recording people here. Nope. Okay. What do you mean? No, I'm not going to stop recording people here. Copies. So okay. You need to fill that out. And oh, I'm, I'm not going to fill anything out. I thought this you were going to... No, no. 
print up the law. So we make all, all people who come to the courthouse who are members of the media? If I may explain, sir, this man is not part of the media. He is a YouTube journalist, and he's gathering content for his story. I certainly hope that clears it up. Are required to complete this in order to okay. take any footage, record anything. There's a rule of court. You can read up on it. You cannot film the courthouse. Okay, well, I'm not going to stop, so do what you got to do, man. A few moments later. Did you get that straightened out? Uh, I did. And it's as I said, so. It's what? I said, it, and it is as I said. You have to have a judge's order in order to be recording the courthouse. So, are you, are you refusing to stop recording? Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, hey, how's it going, man? Did you get called over here? I did. Yeah. Yeah, okay. How's it going? Uh, okay, I just wish these guys would understand that this is a public building and I'm allowed to be here. It is a public building, and you are permitted to be there, provided you have official business. But you have no official business. Your only business is to cause problems and annoy people for clicks and views on your pitiful YouTube channel. And record. So... He's, I've already talked to two deputies. They've cleared it with their I'm sergeant. The here, yeah. Okay. I'm just wondering, what, what are you doing here? Uh, just recording. I was trying to show my audience the Santa Cruz Government Center. And okay. I asked her a question, and she didn't want to, she got all offended immediately. So. You understand that she's serving like people that are coming here for court business, like. Um, I understand. You know, take, 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 I know her job. Take, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. If you had a question about a ticket or some court matter that you needed help with, she'd be happy to help you. Understand that? Okay. So. Well, I, I'm assuming. But, I mean, you're you're assuming that. But What's that? You're assuming that. Do you have your ID on you? No. Okay. I need to see some identification and get your identification. Pardon me, Sergeant, but frauditors don't believe in carrying around ID. For some reason, they think it violates their Fourth Amendment rights, which I never quite understood. Perhaps you can explain it to us, Officer. Why? Because you're in a public building and you're recording in here. I'm not going to give you. Okay. okay. I, I need to, okay? For the purpose of, this could be a security issue later. I'm and not going to give you my ID, man. Okay. Well, here's the deal. You, you're not going to give me your name or anything like I'm that? I'm waiting for the guy. I have business here with that guy in there. Which guy? The guy, that, Tim. Tim Newman, whatever. Yeah, he already talked to me. This he guy. wants me to arrest you. So I don't want to do that. Okay. okay. So if you won't give me your name, you won't identify yourself, I'm going to ask you to leave the courthouse. Okay? Leave the government facility. The government okay. building? Yeah. The government I have building. business here. I'll leave the area, but I'm going to go upstairs and keep looking around. What business do you have? Get, gathering information. Okay. I need to know how to send my people to different places and locations inside this building. Wait a minute. He wants to send his people? Who the hell is he talking about? His 25 viewers are watching his live stream? Is that who he's talking about? Who are your people? What do you mean, your people? I'm not going to answer any more questions. Okay, well then you need to leave the building. I'll, I'll go with it. Are you going to escort me? I, I need you to leave the building, okay? What's going on? Why are you... You want to identify yourself? I have business here. I don't I need have, to identify I, myself to you. I have a business, to, business too. I don't I need to identify you. myself to you. You do? No, I don't. Yes, you Actually, do. Actually, no, I don't. I'm asking you to, and I have a right to ask for it. Okay, you can ask for it. Go for it. Okay, you need to leave the building. Can you back up, man? What's your deal? I can't speak for everyone out there, but when we were kids and coming up in the world, we were taught to respect police officers, and we would never talk to them like that. Isn't that right, Glenda? Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just waiting for you to leave the building. I'm going to follow you till you leave. At this point, you're disrupting the government. No, facility. you're you're disrupting my my business here. So here's the deal: I'm going to arrest you if you don't leave right now. Okay, then for, I, then for I will get your identification. Can you just tell me for what? For disrupting a government building. I have the code right here. I can okay, show it to you. Go ahead and show you. it to me. I'm not going to show it to you. I'll, I'll arrest you, then I'll show it to you. How's that? Your choice. Are you going to leave? You need to leave? 
right now. What's your name? I'll give you my card. Okay, yeah, let me get your card. No, I'll give you my card after we're done here. Let's give go. me your card and I'll leave. Oh, sure, I'll give you my card. I just need to know where to file a complaint. 5200 Soquil? Soquil? Look, Junior, you're not going to need a business card. All the information will be contained on the arrest report. The officer is trying to be cordial, but you don't want that. You want to be arrested. That way, you can file a lawsuit. <laughs> what a bloody moron. What do you think about that, Glenn? Here's my name. And also a lawsuit, man. You're violating my First Amendment right right now. I hope you know that Santa Cruz is open for a lawsuit now. That's great. Good for you. <laughs> Dude, I have a lawyer on retainer, man. Here you go. Here's my name. That's your business card? That's not my, I don't have a business card on me right now. Come What's on, my name? Inez. Okay. You need to leave right now. Time to go. Time to go. The moron said he was going to go, but I don't see him leaving. Oh my goodness, he's going to be arrested. I'm leaving. Back. Turn around, put your hands on your back. You're in arrest. Let's go ahead and uh, get out of the right search engine. That's where the video ended when the fool was arrested. But wait, there's more. Let's see what he has to say after he's released. Well, guys, that was some. They kept me in there for about five hours. I was arrested for 148A and 6021. Well, there you have it, folks. Another day in the life of a frauder. What could go wrong? He's a bloody moron. He can't help himself. Getting arrested makes his day, though, because now he can file a complaint and a frivolous lawsuit, which he has no chance of winning, but he may get some go-away money. Yeah, go-away money. That's, that's a good thing for frauders. If you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons make complete fools of themselves, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that. Well, good people, let's make it a triple play kind of day and watch another idiot get arrested. Because we never get tired of watching these idiots get arrested, do we? To use Chili De Castro's words, we don't stop. In that door over there. I'm not sure if passports. Oh, that's what they do their passports. Not merely content to film what's going on in the front part of the post office, these two bird brains decided to go into the rear of the post office, which is not accessible to the public. Let's see what happens next. Is this a public place? This is not a public place. No, why not? I'm sorry, what's your name? I ran this is problem. This is only for passports. Okay. Do you are you requesting a passport? No. What if I am I am getting a passport? Am I allowed to be in here? 
Just a question. I'm calling the police for your trespassing right now. So they have a door here with no sign, no trespassing sign. Well, let me understand this now. You need a sign to tell you what to do in life. So when there's cars coming in the road, you need a sign to tell you to stop, use caution, watch out, be careful. Hmm. This would suppose that you can read. Can you read? You should take the Glenn Serio course of English. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a over a 400 level education in English. I want to turn it sideways. Takes a better picture. Okay. And I want to. You might want to stick around. Find out what happens. No, no, I say you might. I'm sticking around. I don't run from the cops. Oh, I'm sticking around. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, totally awesome. We agree with that. So, and here in this door, there's no signs in this door. It's wide open. <clears throat> they have some sort of service. Yeah, this is this is open. <laughs> As you have most likely determined for yourself, we're dealing with a couple of rocket scientists here, or possibly a rocket scientist and a brain surgeon. Oh, yes, indeed. That's the door, man. Do you see where it's at? Come on, man. There's no entry. This guy's saying that this sign at this door right here, it allows them for us not to go inside. So look at this is this is a service they're offering here for passport. This is the office where I would come in and get a passport. So it's completely legal for me to walk in here. That's the best thing you can do right there, man. Block your doors where you're not allowed people in. If you don't want us in here, close that door. There's no sign in there. There's no Sir, sign in there. It says you can't be in. I've already got one of you, but I'm heading outside. If the cops are coming, I'll be out there. Okay, they're waiting for you. Nah. Are you going to stick around? What was your name? Since you're giving me orders, what was your name? My name's Larry. My name is Postmaster here. I'm certainly not an expert on these matters, but if the Postmaster asked me to leave, I would leave. Of course, I have common sense, common courtesy, and common decency, something that First Amendment frauditors have none of. Postmaster. Awesome. And your name? Awesome. Thank you. Have a good day. And your name, I didn't sir? give it, sir. They don't give names. Yep. So... Hey, make sure you stick around, okay? So, she's going to stick around. Hopefully, uh, we'll see uh, if she does or not. So. She got offended because we passed by her with the camera, so she called the cops and we're harassing her. A few moments later. We'll see if they're educated or if they need to be educated. One, either one. Now wait just a minute, frauditor. I'm a bit confused. Are you an educator or are you a frauditor? Now which is it? Make up your mind. I do not give you permission to take my picture. You need to turn that off. Ma'am, you're out in public. Why, why would you call me and say, hey, a guy with a camera, and then you say you don't want to come out on camera? The, the cops have been called, ma'am. You can call them again if you like. Ma'am, if you'd be respectful and not yelling at us, that'd be one thing, but you coming out here yelling at us makes no sense to walk up with a guy with a camera. Well, Junior, you picked on the wrong woman, because she's going to call 911. Let's roll that clip. 911, where is your emergency? The post office here in Georgia, the main post office on Australia. Okay, how can I help? There are two men, there's two men out here with cameras, and they're filming me. And they're being, they're harassing me, and they won't leave me alone. I've asked them to leave me alone, and I'm feeling threatened. Okay, what have they done to you that's threatening? They just, they keep filming me. They keep filming me everywhere I go. They're cussing at me. They're filming my car. They're filming my license plate. They're doing all kinds of things. They're being extremely disruptive to the public. Okay, are you a customer there? Or do you work there? I'm a customer here. Okay. All right, and where can the officers contact you? Surrounding my car. I am in my car. I don't feel safe. Okay, what kind of car are you in? I'm in a red Charger parked in a handicapped spot. How many people do you see? There's two men. One is, uh, I believe, maybe Hispanic or Filipino. They're filming everybody here at the post office. 
Now, ma'am, I know you're scared, but they're just exercising their First Amendment rights under the Constitution of America. What they're really doing is trying to annoy you, which it sounds like they've done. This will be good for clicks and views on their pitiful YouTube channel. I do apologize, though, ma'am. A few minutes later. There's no filming. So we're going to go live once uh, the PD shows up. I'm going to switch over to live. And uh, we'll go from there. Here's the lady that's melting. Because we're recording. Five minutes later. Okay, oh, she's coming out. That's cool. I'm not going anywhere. I promise you I'm not going anywhere. Perfect. Yeah, I'll wait around. What's up, guys? Thanks for joining. The frauditor can be heard talking to his live stream viewers. That's what these frauditors do. As soon as they think they're going to have a confrontation with police, they switch over to a live stream. That way, people will see what's happening live, and there will be a record of it. The police can't erase it. What the hell is wrong with these people? I don't know. We got a second yet to come up here. How you doing, buddy? Hey, what's up, man? What's your name, batch number? Uh, it's Officer Miller. I'm asking you to leave the property. You've been officially trespassed off the property. Actually, we need to get paper. Too. You understand? Do you have ID on you? I don't answer questions. This is a public property, sir. How can you trespass me without committing a crime? Okay, we'll, we'll give that to you. Can you answer how you could trespass me from public property? What was your name, batch number? Sir, ma'am, this is a public property. This is not a private pro uh, property. Look, Sonny boy, you could be trespassed from a public building just as easily as a private building. You should learn the law before you run your mouth. Of course, I'm assuming you can read and comprehend, which is a major achievement for somebody like you. Uh, Miller, what is your batch number? Yeah. Miller, what is your batch number? Are you, are you guys going to leave? Oh, Mi leave. Miller, what is... Leave? Okay. We're trying to cooperate uh, with you guys here, man. He's talking for himself. I'm not right. even. We're trying to cooperate with you. I don't, you're saying you're not going it, to leave. It doesn't sound like you're I trying to cooperate a, a with badge us. badge number. Yeah, they want to trespass. You'll get uh, the manager's name. To put right, you, know. you, you understand this is public property, right? <laughs> hey, what's up? What up? What up from the stopwatch? Matt, uh, Miller, what is your badge number? Stand by. That is the <laughs> third time I asked you. What is your, four, your badge number? All this dim-witted moron can worry about is your name and badge number. Your name and badge number. Not to worry, Junior. That information will be printed on the arrest report. And by the way, listen to Fido in the background. Fido's champing at the bit to take a bite out of their ankle. Ha ha ha. I love to see canines in action. Thank you. You guys understand this is public property, right? I'm sorry, sir. What part of the that? All right, guys, so these guys are trying to trespass us from public property. We're at a post office here located in the city of Goodyear. It's uh, located on Estrella Parkway and Goodyear Boulevard. So we have some uh, oath breakers have here. ID yet? Why would I ID? Have I committed a crime? You guys, if you don't leave, yes. Have I committed a crime? Not am I going to commit a crime? Are you guys, are you guys going to leave as they I don't answer in? questions. This is public property. They have no right to trespass me. Okay. I just need name and badge and the number of the other officer. I'm sorry? I need yeah, look, at, look at the response for cameras, together. guys. Look at oh my goodness, more reinforcements arrived. I believe that's four officers on scene now. Oh, let's see what happens next. How many cops are there? We have enough for disturbance. All right, let's go. You need to put the camera down, sir. All right, guys, I'm getting arrested. Hi, can you tell me how I'm disturbing? Can I, can I what, can I watch? No, no, you're going to jail. You don't want to remove my watch? I'll remove it when you get to jail. Right. Double cuff him. Double cuff him. I don't want to hurt him. Take this off of him. I'm not yeah. resisting. Him. I'm not resisting. Well, here we have these two rocket scientists that were arrested. 
Let's hear what the rocket scientist has to say after his day in court. And I was uh, convicted of trespassing as well as harassment. Convicted of trespassing and harassment. Oh, that's going to look real good on your resume if you ever try to find a job somewhere, Frauditor. That's what happens with these unemployed idiots. They have no common sense, no common courtesy, no common decency, and most of all, no job. If you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons make a complete fool of themselves, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing, take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Oh, no I'm reason really, has... I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah, we're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the law. Do. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the line. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me.